Hey everyone, it's Jinx here, and I'm a Genshin Hunter Math Guy now. So, just a quick preface, our friend Cyclops has put together a very efficient monster farming route, and our friend Heika has edited a video showing you the entire route, so you can do this every day, 100% resin-free for resources. Not only does this allow you to farm up all of your character ascension materials, but also a lot of these elite monsters do drop artifacts from time to time, which you can either use for artifact fuel or to convert into Mora by trashing them. At the end of the day, we are limited by our resin every day in terms of how much stuff we can really farm for progression, so this is a nice resin-free way to spend about an hour each day just farming up a bunch of extra stuff. Also, if you do this with a group of up to three other friends, everyone gets their own instance rewards, and you can hop into each other's worlds to farm more stuff with each other. When you get really efficient, at around 45 minutes per clear, in about three hours you can get four times this route's rewards along with all of your friends also getting four times the rewards. Huge thank you to both Haika and Cyclob. Haika does do really chill streams every so often at twitch.tv slash inferno Haika. And I do hang out and play multiplayer or just hang out and voice chat with him during a stream, sometimes during my off hours. So if you want to help support them, both go follow him on twitch.tv slash inferno Haika. But also remember, we are going to be revenue sharing the profits from this video with our friends Haika and Cyclob. So just share the video, watch it, all that good jazz if you would like to help support them as well for making this. We would really appreciate it because Haika kind of got scuffed on this account and got 12 shunglings. The boy needs more balls. All right, that's all I got for the intro. Enjoy the video, guys. Bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Haika, and welcome back to another Genshin video. And today, I will be showing you guys a farming route to help bolster your supplies for upcoming banner characters. Our good friend Cyclov has been hard at work accumulating various resources from his 4chan and on account to browsing multiple Chinese forums in order to create a very extensive solo farm. Now this route in particular is doable in both solo and multiplayer, and do keep in mind that this route can take an excess of 45 minutes to an hour and a half depending on how fast you can clear out enemies. Or, in our case, bringing the proper elements to break Fatui shields. Wait, why didn't we focus the guy with the fire shield? I don't know, because we don't look at him. Four life choices. Alright, we don't have water. Alright, this is going to be a long fight then. Anyways. Let's begin the route at the Northeast Teleporter at Juyun Karst. From here, we drop southeast into the ruins where we will find two ruin guards. From here, we travel across the gorge into the Hillatril settlement where a Rock Shield Mitotril and Pyro Abyss Mage are located. Follow the road down to find two wreckages as well as a wooden barrel to where you can investigate for further materials. Pass through the small gap between the rocks and then travel across the water to encounter two mitotrills. Afterwards, follow the stream west towards the waterfall where you will encounter an ice abyss mage along with ranged hillatrills along the wooden catwalks. Fight your way up and reach the top where you will head further west towards three sets of Fatui skirmishers. Head south towards the edge of the cliff where you will see a cryo abyss mage. And then from here, fly northwest across the valley towards the abyss mage vibing by the tree. Head northwest and drop down to find a ruin guard resting by a broken pillar. And after defeating the ruin guard, climb back up the rocks and defeat the rock shield Mitotril. Soon after, head southeast to find a dilapidated tower with a ruin hunter. Once the Ruin Hunter has been defeated, make your way southwest where you drop down a small height to encounter another Cryo Abyss Mage. Keep heading northwest and glide into the Hillatrill camp where a Pyro Abyss Mage can be found vibing with other small Hillatrills. Once that camp has been cleaned out, head southeast along the pond where you will find a separated group of Fatui skirmishers patrolling the ruins path. Follow the road east towards the teleporter where you will find two Geo Vishap hatchlings. Fuck it, they're called Sonic Boys instead. For a little more added fun, you can keep traveling east to find an Electro Sisson Mage and fight all three at once. Once they have been defeated, 
head south to where the Electro Assistant Mage was to find a fallen statue where you will be ambushed by three Whopper Flowers at once. After that encounter, keep heading south where you'll find yet another three Sonic Boys waiting to gank you from jungle. There is no tank to help you now. Once that's all over, cut through the small valley and head southwest where you'll find a small house on the map. Drop down to fight even more Fatui skirmishers, then head up north the road where you will encounter a Fatui agent at the entrance of the ruins. From here, we begin to enter the ruins by heading up the stairs where an Electro Sisson Mage is waiting for us. Drop from the Sisson Mage's location to find a Ruin Guard out in the open. From here, head back into the ruins to fight a Ruin Hunter. Subsequently after that, head deeper into the ruins to find a small pocket of treasure hoarders. After that, make your way towards the bottom of the stairs and head through the arches where another Ruin Guard can be found. Afterwards, follow the path leading out of the ruins to encounter yet another Ruin Guard. Take a small detour north off the path to find a single Anemo Fatui boxer running an empty food stand. Once you file the formal complaint and complain to their manager, head back towards the three-way intersection where you'll encounter another three Fatui skirmishers. Then head east to find yet another three Fatui skirmishers by the edge of the cliff. Take a gentle glide into the pool ruins, hopefully you have completed the puzzle here to have an activated updraft and glide across the pool towards the Fatui agent. Head west and climb to the dilapidated arches into the upper section of the ruins to find more Fatui skirmishers. Drop down to the lower floor of the ruins where a Ruin Guard is residing, and then take a lift back up and look towards the south to find a broken arch where more Fatui skirmishers are guarding the landmark. Travel south across the water and up the beaten path to find a group of treasure hoarders. Keep heading south either down the road or take the cliff drop into the large Hilatril camp to fight a large Geomitatril, Pyro Abyss Mage, and an Axe Mitatril. Aw shit! Once you actually kill the mobs in the camp, climb up the roof to where the Axe Minotaur was located and make your way up the cliff face where you will be greeted with more treasure hoarders. Head southeast towards the lake where you will find the treasure hoarders camp. From here, you can either enjoy the scenic route by traveling west across the mountain to grab some food and artifacts from the small rest spot, or take a fast travel teleporter to the next location. Continue heading west until you spot a small group of treasure hoarders, then climb up the rock face to fight a ruined hunter. Shortly afterwards, head northwest towards the ruins opening via a nice and comfy glide across the son of a As I was saying, make your way into the ruins to fight a set of two water abyss mages and one cryo abyss mage. Take a leap from the edge and glide southwest towards the golden tree where you will fight more Fatui skirmishers. From here, follow the steps up into the ruins to find a Mitre Churl, and then from this location, turn around and climb up the ruined pillar and proceed to the upper levels of the ruins. From here, you will find a Pyro Abyss Mage, then do some casual parkour up the cliffs to eventually enter the mining site. From here, you can fight an Abyss Mage as well as multiple Mitre Churls until you reach the road at the southern part of the mining site. Take the road east, where you will encounter a small patrol of Hillatrills. Keep following the road to where you will eventually find a Mitotril guarding the end of the bridge. After that, head inside the cave to where you will fight a Fatui Pyro agent. Exit out of the cave and head north to where you can find a small Hillatrill camp with more Mitotrills. Exit out of the Hillatrill camp and follow the upper loop of the path east to find more treasure hoarders by an abandoned house. Alternatively, you can also take the teleporter nearby as well. Make sure to look both ways before crossing the road into the small village occupied by even more treasure hoarders.
From here, head directly east where on occasion you can activate a ley line for another chance of loot from a ruined hunter. If there is no ley line present, then follow the lower path of the loop back east. Fight the Water Abyss Mage on the small island, then proceed to head west towards the cave. Instead of going back into the cave, take the small stair path up the side of the mountain where you can follow the path to find another slime, as well as the last set of Fatui Skirmishers. For the last stretch of the route, glide down the entrance of Qingshu Pass to fight more treasure hoarders. Make your way east into the ruins and travel upwards to find a Mida Trill and Hilla Trills to clean up. After reaching the top, drop down into the center of the ruins to fight off the last wave of Abyss Mages and Hilla Trills. Finally, make your way northwest into a little cubby to fight the last remaining treasure hoarders, thus completing the farming run. And at last, there you have the Leeway mob farm to help you boost your material reserves. If you made it this far into the video without fast forwarding, then all I have to say to you is that you're an absolute mad lad for watching me direct and navigate myself like a cross-country road trip. Anyways, now that the information is all there, and this took way longer to narrate than I originally thought, it's time for me to casually shill the channel as if I was never coming back. And as always, you guys know the order, you guys know you hate it, make sure you guys hit the like button, comment that this video was way too long, or that I put you guys to sleep. Hey, it's Jinx again. Also, a quick thank you to all of our patrons for always helping support us. You guys are the best. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter as well as the company Twitter for constant freaking updates on Genshin-related things. And also, be sure to check out our Discord server, The Mathlessness. We have a bunch of really cool people over there, and you can go do farming runs with them, probably. And don't forget to follow both Tuner and Hiker over at twitch.tv slash Tuna and twitch.tv slash Hiker. Okay, goodbye again. And if you want more content from Jinx and Tuna, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Once again, I'm Haika, and thank you guys for watching.